Hi, I'm Gary from Snow Patrol, and this is the story of chasing cars. We'll do it all. So, the Chasing Cars was written 2005 in the studio. I say studio, it was a shed um, of Jack Knife Lee, our producer, he's still our producer after all these years. And me and him were in there for two or three hours drinking quite a lot of wine. And um, I was playing guitar and coming up with tunes and he was at the desk uh, as we always, we always do. And uh, I wrote 10 songs that evening and five of them ended up on Eyes Open, which is the album that Chasing Cars is on. And obviously one of them was Chasing Cars. And obviously that's why we're here today. If I lay here If I just lay here Most of the songs I've written, uh, you know, people think that I write love songs. That's true to an extent, but they generally are songs at the end of a relationship. You don't tend to sit in the middle of a relationship when you're happy and go, I'm gonna write a song about being this happy. You're just, you're just happy. Most of the time when things have gone badly, that's when you wanna sit down and write about it. Um, uh, but with Chasing Cars, I wrote um, when I was happy and uh, that's what came out. And um, yeah, it's one of the only songs I've ever written that, that is a genuine love song about being in love, whilst in love, and um, it, uh, I don't know whether that's, that's the secret to it. Maybe I should have done that more. Let's waste time chasing cars. Chasing cars was the thing that my dad just said to me that, um, that I'm not gonna go into now, but uh, it's from a phrase that my dad used to use, and um, it was an insult to me, so it was a little nod to him. We get asked when we're when the song is going to be put on a TV show, and um, more often than not, we'll say yes. We said no um, for a long time when people asked for chasing cars because Grey's Anatomy used it, and it it it, um, it kind of blew up after that. So I was asleep, woke up the next morning, and the. Uh, Jason Cars wasn't even in the top 100 on iTunes the night before, and when I woke up the next morning, it was number one on American iTunes. So that was the impact that that particular TV show had. But we've been on, I don't even know how many shows, uh, how, how TV shows and movies our, our songs have been used on, but it's a lot. Um, so it doesn't happen like that very often. It was, a, it was an anomaly, a very happy one. There's two videos shot, um, one video um, shot by Arnie and Kinski in London and they're two absolute genius uh, Scandinavian filmmakers and that was that was my that was my favourite of the two. No, no offence to the other one at all, but I just love that. Um, they did dip me in a tank of water at one point um, and uh, it was not clean water. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the only diva moments I've ever truly had was coming out of that pool. Um, not happy at all. Um, but um, uh, I still think back on that and shudder. But um, anyway, um, of my divaness. That's um, but uh, it's it's um, it's behind me now. <laughs> um, the other video was shot in LA, and that was a lot of um, lying down in different parts of LA. And the only tricky bit of that was that we're trying to get different locations in LA. For anybody that's not been to LA, isn't really a city at all. It's just a sort of a collection of towns um, and uh, all sort of joined together by freeways. Um, so it takes and it takes hours to get to one side of LA to the other side in, in, in heavy traffic, which is almost any time of day. So that video was mostly spent in the car, um, maybe ironically or aptly, whatever one fits. I don't know what why it's resonated so much. I. It's it's a simple song. It's very simple. Uh, anybody can play it. Anybody can pick up a guitar and play it. Um, it's it's um, it's not a complex song with lots of layers that you got to. You know, I, I, I sort of pride myself cer certainly in the last sort of um, few albums of really putting a lot into my lyrics and editing and making the 
big deal of every word and it's in the right place. But back in those days, not that I didn't care about the words, of course I did, but I would write more instinctively and just they would just flow out. So I think that has a lot of, contains a lot of what people find appealing about it, is that it is simple, it has a flow, it, it, there's, it's not arch or ironic, just as, um, it's, it just wears its heart on its sleeve, maybe. My favorite cover version uh, of Jason Cars is Ed, Ed's version, Ed Sheeran. Um, I've had the honor to sing it with him uh, a couple of times on stage, but he, he does an amazing version of it. Um, it you know, it's, he's a dear friend, but, but uh, it's, it's extraordinary when someone takes your song and, and makes it their own. You know, that's that's the real that's the real knack of doing a cover. You know, it doesn't belong to the artist once they release it, and they shouldn't feel any sort of ownership over it anymore, um, as long as they're getting the royalties. Um, but uh, you know, like if you decide to cover a song, then just put your heart into it, and that's what Ed does. Am I proud of it? Yeah, of course, I'm proud of it. I I I I, I love it dearly, deeply. We've. Just like any kind of love affair, um, you know, you fall in and out, and sometimes you maybe have, you know, feelings of um, conflicting feelings about it. You know, over the years, you know, sometimes you felt, you know, when you're playing it, you know, the Eyes Open tour was two and a half years long. Normally, our tours are 18 months, but the, the tour around that album, the Chasing Cars was on, was two and a half years. And by the end of that tour, <laughs> um, you sort of have a different appreciation of what that song is, but we've had seven years away in the last seven years, uh, or the seven years before Wildness came out, and it puts a whole different perspective on everything, you know? I realize just how uh, grateful I am to be in this band and to be playing music still 25 years after I started the band, you know? I was 18, thinking this was gonna be my hobby. Um, and uh, it turned into my life, you know, so how could you not be happy about having a song that endured all that time? Would you lie with me and just forget the world?